Hey y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. We have some babies that we have to get weighed in our litter, so I thought I could show you how we do that here on the homestead, so let's hop into it. Mom, Dad, if you're watching this, this is your sign to buy me an actual rabbit scale for my birthday, but for now, I use a food scale and I put a little pie pan on top of it and I zero it out. And this actually works fantastic for just about all of my rabbits. I will say that it sucks for the Californians. This is my older litter of Rex rabbits and we are getting a weight on them for their four week uh, birthday. And they're at the size now where I'm weighing them individually. I just throw them on the pie pan like so and get a weight. So basically they're being weighed individually uh -huh. just like we would on the adults. They're a little more wiggly than the adults, though. This is my litter of mini Rex. They like to sleep in the bowl. I don't know why. Um, I know it drives Mama over in the corner nuts because the only time she can eat is when I, like, take them out. So she's going to get a little bit of a break. I'll throw them in an empty nesting box like so before we head over to the weigh station. Yeah. Um, they're at the age now where I'm only weighing them out once a week compared to when they are under two weeks. I'm going to weigh them out every single day as a group and look for a general increase of weight as a group. After they hit the two week mark, I start weighing them individually till they hit about four weeks every single day. And once they hit four weeks, I will start weighing them weekly individually just to make sure that everyone is gaining weight accordingly. This is also when I start deciding who I'm going to keep on my meat rabbits, depending on who is gaining the most weight the quickest, because I want big fast growing rabbits to stay in my program. And I'm just showing you right here why I start weighing them out individually when they're small. And that's because they just don't fit on the plate. They're just too big and chunky and it's adorable, but it just doesn't work as well as weighing them out individually as they start moving on their own. And here's a comparison for you on babies that they haven't opened their eyes yet, they're not quite as jumpy, and why it's easier to weigh them as a litter instead of individually before two weeks and they start turning into little mobile beans instead of little quiet jumping beans. So this litter I'm weighing out as a group. So yeah, that's how I weigh our rabbits out. Um, the reason why we want to weigh our rabbits and do this periodically is for a couple of reasons. For our adults, I weigh them out monthly and that's to verify that they're staying at an appropriate weight in standard and that they're not gaining or dropping weight too fast. Um, if I do see a rabbit that's dropping rate, weight at a rapid weight, that's a cause for concern as an adult because they should be staying within their weight range. And a rapid decrease of weight can show things like maybe the rabbit has a GI problem or maybe they're getting too old, maybe they have cancer. It could be a general health problem or it could be that for whatever reason, they're boycotting their pellets, which can also lead to problems, especially in your show rabbits or rabbits that are a condition. Um, another reason I weigh my adults periodically is for my does to guarantee that they're in the appropriate condition to have more babies. So I will weigh a doe before I breed her, after I breed her, and then if need be periodically in between breedings to get her back up to an appropriate condition. When it comes to our junior animals or animals that are under six months old, I will weigh them weekly until they get to senior weight and that's dependent on breed. And I do this to measure out their growth rates to ensure that I am keeping the largest animal that I can for our meat program as well as keeping our uh, junior animals slowly gaining the weight that they're supposed to on our mini rexes. When it comes to weighing them out every day as a litter when they are kits, I'm very particular about that. Um, somebody's argued with me before that you should weigh them individually as babies, and to be quite frank, I don't care. <laughs> I weigh them out as a litter because I want to see a general incline in the first two weeks daily on the entirety of the litter. Now, if I see one baby that is much smaller than the rest and is not keeping up to the growth trend in size, then of course I'm going to take them out and supplement them or I'm going to weigh them in comparison and keep them individually weighed. But as a general rule of thumb, I want to weigh the litter together and see a general 
change in weight so that when I breed that doe again and she has more babies, I can track to see if her next litters are sequential in weight or if I have a preferred pairing between a different buck with her to get the largest, best grow outs possible. Now, weighing out your rabbits regularly is a part of appropriate animal husbandry for raising your meat rabbits, and I highly encourage it. And you can use whatever you have on hand, like I have my food scale, but mom and dad, I hope you're watching this one and that, you know, there's a special gift coming for me in the mail for my birthday here in a few months. Please a thank you. I would really appreciate it. Maybe just a little bit. Those, if you've ever seen those basket scales that like professional breeders use that are like pricey, I want one. I want one really bad. I just, I do. I know my scale works, but I want to look professional. But I digress. Anyway, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.